What's up everybody? Dante from Enjoy the Walk here. Just got a shipment in today. Pretty excited about it. Gonna show you the guys, show you the unboxing, give you my review, try them on, the whole nine. A uh, company out there, it's called Squares. Uh, they're based out of New Hampshire, I believe. Uh, they are trying to get themselves, they're stepping um, into the shoe game, really focusing on not only style and and comfort but also performance they believe that a shoe is also a big feature into what can develop and give yourself a better golf game so i got the box right here it comes in a package just like that squares right here black package um open it up got a pair of socks look pretty dope squares on it also got looks like a hat here a little different square uh square brim we'll get into that as the reason as to that and let's uh take a look here um here's the shoe um so as you can see you know it just looks like an ordinary golf shoe uh, pretty much leather all around big thick sole rubber it's got rubber spikes here and it's also got spikes as well I'm a big fan of spikeless, but I mean, there's really not much there, so uh, really, it's not going to bother me too, none. But however, um, one of the big key focuses on squares is you notice that the shoe is actually squared off at the toe. Um, reason being, it actually uh, sets up for almost an alignment aid, um, which is a kind of a big feature because... A lot of problems with us amateur golfers is not, it's not necessarily our swing, it's mainly because our, we're aligned improperly. Um, if we can get better alignment, we can uh, generate a better swing. Um, so yeah, this uh, looks like it's pretty thick, uh, full leather, uh, which is nice, good solid uh, flat shoestring here. Um, it seems like a well quality shoe, pretty sturdy. So I think um, when I try this on, it's going to be um, very comfortable uh, and um, feels like I'll have a lot of support. So let's give that a go. That's the stuff. One shot at a time. What's going on, guys? Dalton here from Enjoy the Walk Back doing an unboxing for the Squares golf shoes. I'm sure you guys have seen these things. They've been all over social media and kind of taken the golf world by storm. Golf toes? Square? Are you kidding me? We're here to check it out. We're here to show you what it's all about. Shout out to Squares. You guys are awesome in sending us these to uh, to do a review. Now, you know, we're going to we're gonna break it apart. We're going to tell you the ups, the downs, the good, the bad, the ugly. Um, so we're going to give you guys a straight up review as we always do. If you guys don't listen to us, uh, enjoy the walk pod on Instagram. Twitter, um, interact with us there, check us out. Um, you can check out our latest uh, podcast series, Enjoy the Walk Podcast, on iTunes and Spotify. So guys, without further ado, let's get into it. So we have, fresh out the box here. Now, what I am gonna say is, I'm pretty pumped to check these out because, because there's just so much hype around these from the industry. Um, first golf shoe to really ever do a square toe. Now, I've worn cowboy boots before that have the square toe, and what's pretty neat about square toes is they always loosen up the shoe. They always make it a little wider. Um, so, you know, with my past experience and other guys in the industry telling me to go a half size down, I went a half size down. So that's what we have from squares. I usually wear an 11. I ordered a 10 and a half in these. Um, so let's check it out. Excited to see how they fit, if they're a true square toe, or uh, or how they are. So, guys, out the box. First, first kind of impressions of this box is you know very cool, very modern. Um, excited to get into those. Squares.com. S Q A I R Z. Squares.com. Yeah, let's break it. Let's break it down. Like I said, ten and a half. Right out of the box, thank you, your order made our day. We hope we hope it brightens yours, your friends at Squares. So guys, pretty cool stuff there from Squares, a little personalized message. Um, let's, get, let's get into what's all in the box. Um, I've seen these and I'm excited that these are in the box. Uh, squares socks. 
So these are like the ankle socks, but they're not just like the no-show ankle socks. They're the nice golf ankle socks where they come just about over your ankle, have the nice pull tab in the back to really, you know, get it out and not dive down. We've all had those socks that kind of dive down beneath your heel during a round of golf and you're, you're stuck pulling at your heel, trying to get them up, trying to get them out. So I like the style of socks that Squares have you know, chosen to provide um, with each one of their golf shoes. It's pretty sweet. Um, ooh, a hat. All right. Oh man, I didn't even see this when I first picked it up, but the hat has a square bill. All right, We're, we can... We can roll with that. Everyone knows I like to wear my hats backwards, so squares hat with a square bill. I like that. All right, let's get into the shoes. First one out here, right foot. First thing out of the box, guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna a little zoom in here. First thing out of the box, the minute I put my hand on this thing, you can just tell, man, this is like, this is high wearable material. Like this, this material is going to last a long time. Um, the only thing I don't see, and obviously, you know, they, they pride themselves on being wearable, weatherproof, um, and just overall rainproof. Um, so I, I see where they're coming from because the shoe doesn't look like, um, uh, look like it breathes much in all honesty. Um, there's, you know, there's this kind of, it looks like a breathable mesh, but it's more of a printed on look. So, um. For your all weather rounds, you know, a lot of us guys that walk rounds in the morning when it's dew out, there's grass clippings everywhere, um, and you don't want that water to seep in. A lot of the shoes nowadays with the breathable technology, um, you don't get that like dry foot at the end of the day like you would with a lot of other shoes. So right out of the box, you can tell this shoe is rainproof, waterproof, weatherproof, um, and it, it, it's gonna last in the elements. Um, another thing I'm seeing here, which is just really neat, I mean, guys, Let's check it out. There's a reason they're called squares. If anyone's seen a square toe cowboy boot, that's basically what you're looking down at. Um, really nice to see, kind of just something different for a change. I mean, you look down and see a golf shoe and you know, you're so used to seeing kind of the arch or a little almost, you know, pointed toe. So it, it's different, but I like it. Um, another thing I'm seeing, which is just really neat, um, the detail in these shoes is, is really awesome, whether it's um, there's really, you're not going to be able to see on the camera here, but then these little grommets in the metal pieces right here that the laces are in, there's a little squares logo right in the kind of bottom half of those, which is really nice to see it. And, and you can tell, man, these grommets are in there. Like they are, they are not going anywhere. They're well done. Um, and just, I'm, I'm amazed at how like dense almost for as light as it is. Like this shoe is very light and, and this material though is like dense. Like you can tell like this can take a beating over and over again. And, uh, and I think it transitions kind of, you know, into the heel and into the bottom of the shoe as well. Um, this heel's very thick, like, like you would see in a, um, in one of those older style walking shoes or even the newer like Addy Boosts and stuff like that that have the real thick heel. Um, it, it, it's got a lot of material there. So it's kind of like, you know, um, I would say Under Armour shoes as well have a very thick um, kind of base to them, it's like a baseline. Like I always feel like when I'm wearing Under Armour shoes, um, you're wearing a very thick shoe and you almost stand a little taller when you go to address the ball. Um, so let's go to the underside, guys, the undercarriage. What really matters the most? Are you going to slip? Are you going to slide? Uh, you know, how does this shoe truly keep you grounded? So we'll go right to it. There's six overall, one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six overall true replaceable spikes in here. Um, and they look just like your typical standard soft spike, nothing out of the ordinary. But what I do see that's out of the ordinary is just the depth at what kind of the, like the insole tread that's underneath there. Like look how, look, look at the shadows that's casting. I mean, the depth of, not just the soft spikes, but the depth that like everything else around it has. I mean, you're not slipping. Like so many of the, the treads on these like Addy Cross or like crossover shoes where you can wear them on and off the course, they're not that thick. And when it gets a little slippery out, you really start to slip and slide. Um, so I, I love to see how deep that, uh, that tread is on the bottom of these shoes. So 
yeah, guys, I'm I'm super excited to uh, to throw these on and see how they fit. You know, the the laces actually. I just saw this now. The the light hit it a little differently. You guys can probably see this if I shimmer it in the light. There, the laces have this like tread on it. So I guess like when you tighten it, these laces aren't going to go anywhere. They're pretty much going to stay in put um, wherever wherever you tighten it at. So they're not going to get looser on you or anything. Um, yeah, overall detail, man. I really like these shoes. You can tell there's been a lot of time spent um, getting everything right around these shoes, you know, and uh, excited to see how they feel. So let's go try them on. That's the start. One shot at a time. All right, guys, check it out. We got them on. Uh, like I said, um, a lot of support. Um, immediately once I tied them up, extremely comfortable. Uh, only weird thing, again, it's square, so it's got a square toe. Uh, so that's a little off-putting at first, but I think that's something you can get used to. Um, they're a little wider uh, for those who have wider feet. So anybody's wider feet, they're not like super narrow, so you feel like your foot's falling off of the shoe. Um, so I know I have a problem. I have a problem with fat feet. And, you know, certain shoes, they're just so tight and narrow that actually once I break them in, my foot feels as if it's actually falling off the side of the shoe. Here, no problem. I feel like once they break in, I'll be good to go. I don't have to worry about that. Pretty, feel pretty solid in them. Um, and then here's the toe thing that I was talking about with like alignment. So like, here's my putter. And if I was setting up to the ball, I can utilize my feet for putting to make sure if I got the camera right that I'm actually perpendicular to my club so I'm pretty sure everything's square and I can easily take the club back and give it a go so that's the whole concept of the square shoe um, I think that's one of their biggest features it's a little weird to the eyes but I definitely think it is going to be a great asset if you are rocking these on the course all right guys so we got the squares here, and I'm pumped to try these babies on. Now, like I was saying earlier, the socks um, are definitely performance socks. There's no doubt about that. Excited to put these on. Oh, they are soft. Woo! Yeah, we like those. They just can, like, they wrap around your foot really nice. And I didn't see this when I unboxed it the first time, but there's just kind of like under padding uh, between the heel and the toes on the bottom side of the foot that's just softer than the rest of the sock. Nice squares logo kind of right around the ankle. And as I said, this nice like kind of tab on your back ankle makes it really easy to A, keep your sock on when you're putting the shoes on, but not lose the sock underneath, you know? So, all right guys, let's put these on. First thing I'm seeing when I'm just like slipping these on is just, it, they're, they're just made well. I don't know. I don't know how else to state it. They're just they're a high end material, and it just it feels doesn't feel like a fake leather. Doesn't feel like a um, you know something that's just cheaply made. This this shoe feels well put together from top to bottom. From when like the minute you touch the shoe on the on the tongue here, there's a really really nice material there. It actually seems like the only white leather on the shoe. Is that on, is on the tongue here, and then as you you know grab it by the sides, it this it's actually a little tough to get this shoe to open up, um, which I mean at first you almost want because it's not a floppy shoe, you know, um, but I will say I mentioned earlier I ordered a half size smaller than what I normally do because of the square toe, and after getting both of these on here. That seems to be the ticket. Now, let me zoom in on this for you guys. Now, like I said, right off the bat, they fit nice. They look good with a pair of khakis. I will say that as well. And that's kind of your side view. I mean, all in all, guys, they're very lightweight. Let's get a look here at the squares sock as i said with the sock guys 
that little tab in the back is pretty nice. Now I will say, um, it, I almost wish they made a a black sock because with black shoes, I like wearing black socks. And with white shoes, I like wearing white socks. Now they do have a white shoe with some red and a gray shoe with some blue. So uh, I could see where the, the white socks are nice. Um, I haven't been on their, web, their website to know if they have a black sock per se, but that would be my only gripe is they didn't send a black pair of socks with the black shoes um, because I, I most likely won't wear the square socks with the square shoes that I have because I'm gonna wear black socks. Um, but other than that, these are super comfortable. I'm, I'm taking, now granted, only a few steps, but you know, you get up on your toes, they're still pretty flexible. Um, taking a couple steps with them, they're, they're really nice. I, I feel comfortable in them. And, and my feet, most of all, like I said, I got a half size smaller um, than I normally wear. And, uh, and they just, they fit like a glove. So really excited guys to, uh, to put these on the course whenever we get back into some sort of play and, uh, and see what these square shoes can do. But fresh out of the box, I had an old, old pair of black foot joys that I think are gonna get replaced with some black squares. So excited to see what you guys think. That's the stuff, one shot at a time. All right guys, so I was able to walk around with them a little bit. They're definitely very comfortable. I think they're going to be a uh, good shoe um, for on the course. I'm excited to see how it performs with the flat toe um, as you can see right here that's their biggest feature excited about that see how it's going to um, play out on the course um, overall I mean the shoe is very qual it's a very high quality shoe I mean it's pretty much full leather all the way around um, it's waterproof water resistant I mean it's got a good good rubber uh, bottom piece here it looks like that's going to have a lot of good grip uh, last you for a while um, again I mean you can tell here a lot of cushioning so it's going to be a very comfortable shoe coming down after long um, 36 holes uh, a lot of a lot of rounds walking uh, stepping on the course um, inside I mean the tongue the tongue is solid here as you can see um, it's attached to the siding of the shoe so you don't have to worry about this like floating all the way around it seems like it's just going to be a very sturdy uh solid shoe throughout um it looks like it's just going to keep its shape for a long period of time um which i'm excited about that however uh, a couple negatives here um as obviously there's positive and negative everything the off put here of of the toe i feel like that can um if you're looking like all style i can see how that can be a little bit off putting however that's the main sole purpose of the shoe um so it's a little weird at first but that's something that can get used to i think it would be actually real nice for when you know you're planting your foot um your trail foot um coming into the shot i feel like it'd be a nice comfortable uh it'll feel pretty nice when it's not round it'll just be like nice and level with the grass um it is full leather so i mean it's pretty thick um it's a little heavy um to some of the shoes that i'm actually used to uh, so I think that might drag a little bit, especially if you're a walker, um, with the weight of the shoe. To me, it's a, it's a, it's a heavier shoe than I'm, than I'm used to. Um, yeah, I think since it's all leather, I think that you're, if you have sweaty feet, um, if you heat up, if your feet heat up pretty quick, it can be, it can go for some, uh, you'll get some pretty hot feet, um, and get a little warm. Uh, it doesn't seem like there's really much breathability, so hot summer days, Feel like that's definitely might be an issue down the road, uh, but we'll see. Hopefully, we'll go back there soon. Um, another cool feature: the laces. They actually have. If we can focus, they actually have like these rubber things that are uh, pressed that are on top of the thread. I mean, it's just your basic flat thread shoelace, but it looks like I guess it keeps when you know you tighten them up. It keeps the shoelace in place so they don't have to move around. Uh, that's really cool because I know sometimes the laces, you know, the threads get like loose and it, the, um, they move around. Uh, but it looks like it just, once you tie them up, it's going to 
stay in place. However, I did notice they do pop off pretty easily. So um, for the short term, it'll probably be nice, but after a long while, these things are gonna fall off after going through, when you're tightening them up and they're going in and out of the holes, um, they're gonna fall off. Cause I know already some have fall, fallen off. So that's that. I mean, all around it's a, it's a good quality. It's a, it's a mix between sport and cla uh, that classic look. Uh, I'm a big fan of the classic look for the for golf shoes. Um, but however, I like the comfort aspect of the the sport or the comfortable part of the shoe. Um, yeah, so that's that. I think it's going to be a pretty good quality shoe. Yeah, I'm excited to take this out on the course and see what um, how it plays out. See how my feet. Uh, are at the end after 18 and even after 16 uh 36 walking um out there enjoying the walk so this is square shoes um go check them out all right guys so squares golf shoes the good the bad the ugly right we unboxed them we tried them on the only thing we haven't done is gotten these things out in the golf course yet but i can almost tell you how they're going to perform just because i've played the game for almost 20 years now and I know, I know how shoes react on, on and off the golf course. The good, right? Probably one of the most well-constructed shoes on the market from top to bottom. They are not the lightest on the market, not the heaviest on the market. Um, I would say probably on a scale of one to 10, Weight wise, they're about a six and a half. Um, so a tad heavy, but you know, like I said, I have shoes that I wear 20 plus times a year that are far heavier than this. Um, so from that perspective, I'd say, you know, walkability uh, rate of about a 7.2. But let's get into what I think a lot of people really care about and that is overall comfort I don't think you want these on a hot summer day um, I think they're stuffy especially the black shoes um, they're gonna they're gonna retain heat they don't look like they're that breathable um, I'd like to see more I know that their big thing is weatherproof and waterproof but I'd like to see more um, opportunity for what I see to be a very sweaty foot inside here with not much relief um, but I think at the end of the day I, I'm starting to think that's the only downside to these um, is that they're just not warm weather shoes um, I wouldn't wear these in, in 80 plus degree weather uh, which is a shame for a lot of the golf market but I from a, another side of things, I grew up in Northeast Pennsylvania, or Southeast Pennsylvania, I should say, went to college in Northeast Pennsylvania, and it's a great, I mean, eight months out of the year, these are phenomenal shoes, nine months out of the year, they're phenomenal shoes. Um, as I said during the unboxing, when you put these on, I made a couple swings with them. Now, granted, I was indoors on turf, but, um, I, I didn't slip, I didn't slide, I didn't have a chance of slipping and sliding. So um, I think traction on these, uh, 9.4, 9 um, yeah, overall traction and stability on these things, 9.4. Um, they're just, they're great um, on that side of things. The, the square toe gives you a little uh, wider of a base to kind of sit your feet on. And, and everyone knows, you know, when we, um, when we are looking for something in the golf swing, the number one thing we look for a lot of times in shoes is stability. Um, so from that side of things, phenomenal golf shoe. Um, I want to say overall rating for these golf shoes, um, you know, taking in the walkability score, the stability score, the breathability, um, just the overall comfort of the shoe, um, I'm probably going to have to go with like a 8.2. Um, and I say that, you know, at 8.2 being very high, very, very high, like highly recommendable. Um, I, I think they're an awesome addition to the market. Um, we haven't seen golf shoes like this ever. 
Um, and I think, you know, one thing we haven't talked about was their kind of main selling point too. With this square top, um, it helps with alignment. Now, me, I'm a comfort, um, I find my comfort in slightly open toes, right? That's kind of how I swing my swing. But there's a lot of golfers out there that want their toes here and here, kind of square, parallel with their, uh, with their line. So if that's, you know, we can never stop looking for more ways to kind of let our equipment help us um, get better at golf. And I think these shoes help a large majority of the people who play golf maybe, you know, set up to their alignment and set up their entire routine around their shoes as well. So um, it's a neat little feature that their square toes kind of, uh, you know, help you out with. And yeah, super, super great shoe. Um, impressed in just, I think, what the durability is gonna be in these once I get these out of the course. Um, I think you're gonna be able to put these shoes through the ringer um, and they're just gonna outperform a lot of your other golf shoes from very, very big name brands. So, um, yeah, excited to get these out in the course, guys. That's the Squares shoe review. Go check them out at squares.com, S-Q-A-I-R-Z.com, um, and look forward to our podcast with the owner and CEO of the Squares company coming in the future. Shut